here I have a really cute cupcake block that I designed and created myself and the technique, the applique technique that I used on this one is called it's similar to like a needle turn applique but it's not done by hand using a needle and turning the fabric under instead I use some medium weight interfacing and it gives me the same finished effect I'm going to close up here so you can see the stitching, this is actually a blanket stitch that I did on the edge but you can see that the edge is not exposed as it is when we do this fusible web or the raw edge applique okay this when we did this as if you remember my previous um, tutorial just on this you see like the we cut it right around and that edge is completely exposed that's why it's called raw edge in this one it's turned under so we have a clean finished edge okay and we don't have those raw edges they're still finished the same with a decorative stitch all the way around but this gives it a nice uh, a cleaner look than the fusible applique does so I'll show you how I did this so this is like the cheater's way of doing the needle turn applique and here are the things that you're going to be using just like in the previous tutorial your background fabric the fabric that you're going to use to make the actual applique piece something to mark with this is actually what I'm going to be using as my stencil is just the bottle cap um, to some starch spray can okay but you can use um, a design that you write out yourself a block letter any shape or something that you may print it out from the internet and you trace it so whatever your design is going to be a pair of scissors an iron and this is the key component here I have some medium weight interfacing okay you can ask for this at your local fabric store or craft shop and they sell it by the yard um, it's kinda like a fuzzy feeling material I don't really know how to explain it it's kinda like paper but it's like a mix between paper and fabric this is what's added to different pieces of fabric when you're making bags and purses and things just to stiffen up the light cotton fabric so let's start with our first step which is to actually trace our, our design so on my piece of that medium weight interfacing, I'm going to lay this here and I'm just going to trace around it with my Sharpie marker. Now that that's done, I'm going to lay the fabric that I want to make out of the applique pretty side down onto the part that I traced, okay? So it should be like this. I mean, it doesn't matter because in this case, the Sharpie, you're still going to be able to see it on either side. But the important part is that you put the interfacing itself on the pretty side of the fabric, just like this. This is such a small applique piece that I just went ahead and put one pin in the center to hold the fabric together. Now I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to stitch on this traced line all the way around, okay? Just with a simple straight stitch. I'm done stitching around the traced line. As you can see on the back side, you see the stitch line there. I'm going to turn it around now and I'm going to cut about a quarter of an inch around this line. Here you see my applique piece has been cut and trimmed out. Now the next thing to do is to actually separate the interfacing from the back fabric so you make sure not to clip this actual, the fabric part of it. And I'm going to make a small snip here with a pair of scissors. Now you see I've been very careful not to cut into my actual fabric. I've just wanted to cut the actual interfacing itself. So I snipped it in the center and I just kind of go like that in the shape of a cross. And now through this opening we want to turn this inside out and push out all the corners so that the pretty side of our fabric is showing. I flipped it inside out and you can see how it starts to look. So you want to work with all the edges and as you go pushing these edges out and making everything nice and crisp, you want to be hitting it with your iron to set all these seams in place. You see I've pressed my applique piece nice and flat and when you look on the back side, you see how there's no raw edge exposed. Instead, we have that edge folded back because of flipping that interfacing inside out. It pulls it towards the back side, okay? It pulls that edge under and then we get a nice clean cheater's version of needle turn applique. It's real simple and it's a, you end up with a great looking result. Now we take our applique and put it wherever we want it. Then you can put a pin in place or spray baste it down with a temporary basting spray. Okay, And then all that's left to do is to stitch around it with whatever decorative stitch you want to use. Again, you can just use a straight stitch real nice and close to the edge. You can use a zigzag stitch as you see on this one, even though this was a different technique you can still do a zigzag stitch on it like that or in my case here in the cupcake one that I did I showed you the blanket stitch that I did and you may or may not have this decorative stitch on your machine but um, if your machine does have some decorative stitches feel free to try them and you can make all kinds of stuff with these techniques that I've showed you on applique 